Hey, and welcome to today's video. So um, today I just wanted to do a quick introduction on what I've got going on today um, and then kind of jump right in. So today is Thursday the 18th and I've got quite a few things that I want to get done and catch up with today. Um, the first thing is I actually need to start working on my outline for my first novel. Um, I'm honestly, I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants on this one. Um, I've never done like any real research on it, but in my head, I'm kind of thinking just write out a rough outline of the book, uh, and what I want to do and then break it up into, um, scenes or well chapters, I guess. And then break up the chapters into scenes and then I'll have time to kind of reorganize everything in the way that makes the most sense from a storytelling perspective um so that's the first thing that I want to do um I've got for the most part the idea in my head of um what happens so it shouldn't be too terrible I think the only other thing that I'm going to need though is um after I've done the rough outline, I want to make sure that there's enough like conflict in the story and that I really take time to develop the characters in such a way that um, that makes sense. So um, that'll be interesting. Um, I do want to like, I think my biggest fear though is that the story isn't compelling enough or that there's not enough conflict. Um, or that it's not told the right way. It is a domestic thriller, so um, yeah, I don't know. So you know, I, I'm, I will admit I'm kind of nervous about it. I am one of those people who uh, really suffers with kind of self-doubt and um, like rejection a little bit. So it's always been a big issue for me to like be confident in the work that I do. Um, but I think that's every creative's struggle. Um, with wanting to do something and being passionate about passionate about it but then also the struggle of whether or not it's good enough or whether or not you're good enough as an as an artist or whatever your art form is me being author being an author um so and then also I struggle with perfectionism too which is anywho that's the artist struggle. So I'm going to just try to put all of that aside and just get it on paper and then just write it and not think too hard about it. Um, so that's the thing that I want to do today. I was reading a couple of other um, authors, or not reading, listening or watching rather, a couple of other authors here on YouTube and they were kind of talking about their timelines and their struggles when it came to outlining. And one of the girls was like, it usually takes her about a week. So um, I'm going to give that same timeline to myself like about a week so it's Thursday the 18th so by next week the 25th um that's kind of what I'm setting my deadline for to finish my outline um if it takes me less time than that great if it takes me a little longer um then I won't, won't beat myself up too much about it um the goal is to kind of figure out my own writing style and how much time I typically need. And that way, moving forward, when I work on the next book, um, I know what to expect out of myself and what's normal for me and not necessarily what's normal for someone else. So that's the first thing on today's to-do list. Um, then I want to get in some blender practice. I think I mentioned in a previous video that, um, I thought I had a good tutorial because of a LinkedIn learning that I've used in the past, but the current tutorial that they have on there is nowhere near as thorough as I would like it to be. So I need to find another tutorial. They've got a couple of really good folks on YouTube itself. So who've put, who've done tutorials. And so I think instead of me trying to find a software that's um, gonna sh do a full walkthrough of the entire software package, I'm just gonna do how I do with a lot of other stuff and I'm gonna engineer my way through it. And so just that just means like finding a tutorial for every little bit of everything that I need. So for example, I'm just gonna find a tutorial that focuses specifically on character animating 
excuse me, on character modeling. <coughs> character modeling in the style that I want to do character modeling. And then after that, I'll find someone who does um, in char uh, interior, uh, interior scenes. And that way, when I'm ready to like build a house or create a living room or set my scenes up, then I'll just use that tutorial for that specific part. And then I'll find someone who does the exterior stuff and then I'll find someone who does the actual rigging of the characters and stuff like that. So I think that's the route I'm gonna take. It might take me a little long, but as of right now, all the ideas that I have are, um, um, I don't have any like full feature length animation ideas, that, but they're like snippets of stuff. Um, some of them are like society, what do you call them? Social, social, not social programming. I don't know what they're called, but like social based kind of snippets, social commentary. That's what it is. Most of them are like social commentary. And then some of them are actually like Christian commentary type of stuff. So, um, I'm not too pressed about how long that's going to take just because I'm talking about little snippets of, of animation that I want to work on first anyway. So I'm not too gonna be too hard on myself for that um so let's go ahead and get started with writing so I decided to come work upstairs in the main office today since it's actually slightly warmer the basement's a little too cold for me um and I'm gonna work on my desktop but that does mean that um I'm probably going to end up cleaning it at some point because it is a little messy. I do need to actually just start um, putting things away and packing things up. So we did move locations, but it's fine. There'll be a cleaning portion of this vlog at some point today. But anyway, I'm going to start writing first. Okay, so I'm finishing up with, um, for today, I, I got a little bit done, but, um, not a ton. I feel like I'm having a bit of a, a challenge with kind of, well, no, it's not a challenge. I'm just working things out as I'm going along. So there are certain things where I'm realizing, for example, that the ages that I initially had my characters on, it, it felt too young. So I've raised the ages of those and I'm just kind of figuring out how that affects the beginning parts of my story. But it does like kind of make the story make a bit more sense. And I feel like it also heightens the thrill a little bit as well. Um, so just some of things like that. So I'm working through some of those challenges as I write. Um, I ended up not doing any of the blender stuff today. I just felt like I have for this project, I have a set and kind of set an established idea of what I'm trying to do. Whereas with Blender, it's more so not as big of a deal, I guess you could say. Um, so I wanted to like focus on this first and really nail down those details because this, to me, this is like the, the nitty gritty in the weeds type of stuff. And so once I'm done with the outline and really making sure that the planning part is good, when I get to the writing part, I feel like all of the kinks will have been worked out. And so from there, I can just let my imagination go and like flow from there. So I think um, I'll wait to do to really kind of dive into the blender part of stuff once I get to that part, because then I feel like it'll be less brain, less taxing on the brain. 
Um, so I'm going to hold off on t doing the blender stuff until then. So probably next week I'll, I'll look at that. Um, yeah, I haven't gone through and found a tutorial for anything yet, but I mean, even still it's, it's fine. It'll be fine. Um, so I'm going to call it done for, for right now. I might hop on later. I just came back from lunch at Taco Cantina. I probably put in or inserted some images of the food. It was really good. Um, but now it's kind of back to work. Um, so I probably mentioned this in one of my shorts. I don't know if I mentioned it in this particular video, but for today, I've got a couple of things that I want to get done. So I'm going to just talk about that really quickly. Um, the first thing from a reading perspective is I need to catch up on my Don Cannoli. His new book comes out May 7th, so I need to I need to read the previous two books because I want to um, refresh my memory on what happened in those books before that one comes out. The second one is actually a it's it's two stories in one book, so I I, I definitely need to refresh my memory on those. And then another thing is I want to get farther along in Ninth House. So I've had Ninth House on my shelf, on my TBR, um, for a couple of months now, ever since I'd say January. And I just haven't gotten around to like really sitting back and finishing it. I do have it on audiobook, but when I was reading it on audiobook, I realized that because of how deep the world building was, this is a paranormal dark academia um, fantasy type of thing. So... There's a lot of world building in the beginning and so when I was trying to listen to it on audiobook I was just having a hard time with um, staying with the story. The um, switching over to reading. So uh, when I was at to lunch I actually got a good chunk of my outlining, my rough outlining done. Um, so that was really beneficial. I think I can actually get it done today. So I'm going to prioritize that over the reading. Um, and hopefully by tomorrow I can do the other part, like I guess you could say part two of my outlining. So right now I'm working on the chronological story. So how all the events play out chronologically. And so if, assuming I finish that, then by tomorrow I can work on putting it in order in the way that it will be revealed in the actual book. And so once that's done, I can then break things out into chapters and scenes. And then once that's done, I can actually sit down and start like boom, 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 writing. And so um, my, in an ideal scenario, that would be what I start working on. Um, today's Saturday, so tomorrow Sunday is um, chronological, uh, excuse me, the book order for the chapter. So then like, let's say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I can actually put the scenes together and the chapters and, and, and breaking those out that way. And then probably by Thursday, I can actually start getting to writing, which would be such a blessing. Um, so yeah, that's the goal. That's what I'm thinking. So let's go ahead and switch things up and get on over to the compute. Well, not computer, because I'm actually doing I'm doing my rough outline on with pen and paper. Um, I just find that it's easier to, for me to just jot it down. Anywho, so let's go get started. a little bit of a nap so um yeah that was two hours of nap time um so that's what I did now it's back to writing so um let's go
I am officially done for today. I have completed my rough outline and I'm actually very happy with where um, we landed. Um, I am, I pretty much sketched out the whole story for in chronological order and I think there's enough, um, there's enough conflict in the story for me to be able to put in some proper reveals and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to worry about all of that, the reveal part today. That's a, that's an issue for tomorrow when I start putting the story in, um, order of, of my chapters and stuff like that. So I'm going to worry about that a little bit more tomorrow. I'm going to worry about that tomorrow. Um, but yes, I think it's really given me a solid idea on where the story is going and, and how to kind of put everything together. So I think I have enough of the puzzle pieces to be able to do that. So... I'm going to wrap it up for today and um, it's like nine o'clock right now so I think I'm just gonna edit this and then um, maybe depending on what time it is I might think about some kind of writing prompts to kind of refresh my brain get it out of um, what's kind of happening right now um, but yeah so I think I'm just going to wrap up the vlog today. Just like, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you on the flip side of that. See you later.